do 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 Now that's some mighty cheap gas. crazy fog like I can't see like hardly 10 feet in front of this Jeep so just to let y'all know the struggle is real trying to get from point A to point B this morning yeah real thick fog Man, I hate these things, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. I've been in worse. That one was actually not bad. Slim shake. What's up, Kimasabi? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You ready, Slam? I hope we do. Yeah, do something. I mean, it's a little chilly. I'm gonna catch fish. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might. I might not. I wish I had a, a, a bit heavier jacket on. I'm like, oh, it was like 57 degrees in Jonesboro. I'm like, I'll be fine. So I'll be just fine. 56 today. Yeah, it'll be nice. Looks like it's fog rain's off. Oh, it's beautiful driving up. Crazy, but beautiful. Yeah, I got a couple of good pictures coming in the van. Yeah. Throw it right next to me because I just missed it. It might take the the alternate bait. There's one, there's one. God dang it! Oh, 
come on. That's not cool. You know, I've been meaning to do this for a while. We've got a nice sunny day. It's a little windy out here for this, but it's nice enough to where maybe this will happen. This is Larry Dees from Hog Island Baits. He brought me four of these. We're going to test some of them out today and uh, just kind of get a, a feel for how they swim, how they pop, what kind of water displacement they're throwing. These are uh, hand turned on a lathe and custom made, custom painted, custom epoxied. And we're going to start with this big one. What is that? Is, number that 18. Any? Number 18 is what we're going to throw. Let's see how it does. Which way are you going to throw it? Yellow and red. It's got that. Oh, you got a little pink in there too. Okay. It's blended in. Almost has a trout. Kind yeah. of a... Now this one we did this have to tune just a little bit. This is the number eight. This is the number eight. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a couple of dangles. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That walking. Which one is that that you're throwing? Oh, is that a jekyll? Is yeah. that a trout? Spook I painted? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'd love to see something bust on that. There we go. A little something. Well, maybe a little bit better than a little something. That's a little something. It'll do. Little bass. We'll take you. Hey, little fella. What's happening? Right in the top of the old snout, that's for sure. Man, the wind is so bad, my eyes are watering up. Junior, but we love you, we'll take you. Mwah. Well, nothing in there. Let's Take a look on the corners. Hit this corner out here and then get back out on this point.
There we go. Nice little one. Bass number two. Very pretty. Top of the snout. Starting to go in the right direction. That is a good thing. Sharp hooks, also a good thing, unless you're a bass. There we go. Googan. Slim shake. Bass. Pretty easy equation. It was really windy today. Did not knock their lights out, but caught a few, caught pickerel, caught a shadow bass, caught two largemouth, tiny largemouth, but eh, it is what it is. The cool thing is that we got to test out some poppers that were hand turned on a lathe from uh, Hog Island Baits today to finish up something that I started back in, I wanna say October. So sorry about that. Larry D, um, we will have a rundown in video for you guys. Um, did not get a chance to really do a whole lot because it's screaming windy outside. So th the biggest reason that I have hesitated to do anything with these poppers is because I'd really like to get them in a time of the year where you can see what's going on and maybe get you a really great topwater blow up. But hey, the baits look really good. We're going to talk about it and give you a rundown on the next video coming up. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm going to go grab a fish sandwich. See ya.